Hello guys, here's Kira Kartsov and today we're going to talk about most famous, most popular cello composition, the Swan by French composer Camille Sanson. I will show you the common issues and common mistakes and we will talk about how to avoid all of these problems in this song. Already in the first bar we have small deal how to change position from the number 4 to the number 1 and then to the number 2. How it sounds in the wrong way. The line is broken all the time. But why it happened? Because your elbow keeping position number four when you change to the first. How to avoid this? Let's follow one rule. First elbow, then the hand. What do I mean? When you change the position from number four, you go already in position number one and then you change with the fingers. And then you go to the position number two and elbow go first and the fingers afterwards. Let's play. Come back to the first version. And now with elbow first. So with this system we already built much better melody line. The second mistake, how to change from the second finger on D to the second finger on G. It's not so easy, but we can use this kind of tricks. about right hand when you do this change. Use the same system, first elbow, then the hand. So what do I mean? You keep playing on the E string, but your elbow already in position of the D string. That will fall off your hand to the beautiful legato. So you make smooth change from second finger from E string to the D string and also you support your left hand with the right hand which I do beautiful string exchange and legato. Second phrase. Actually it's not a problem. Only the question is which fingering do you use? Uh, when I was young we almost never used the open strings. I don't know, that was kind of the ideas of our teachers to avoid open strings. I think that was because the strings was not so good as today uh, and the E, open E string and open D string make, make always this some metal sound or whatever, I don't know. Uh, today we have beautiful opportunity to use open strings. Well, I personally use the open string. But also if you're not so uh, sure about your open string, you can use very easy 
fingering, let's say, for the beginners, but it also sounds pretty okay. Of course, using the, the flageolet and the D string, let's say it's kind of the cheap tricks, but if you're beginners or if you like this kind of colors, why not? You open for everything. Okay, we clear the situation with the open string, but there is some trap in the fourth position. Why it's happening? Because again your elbow stays in the, in the wrong position, in the previous position. You should prepare your elbow already for this jump. You see, I'm still playing in the position number four, but I already prepare exchangement to the to this jump to the H or B, whatever you call it in different countries. I should. So you play F, F sharp. And you go up and you prepare this chain. How to practice this? Let's find the position for H or B, whatever. And this is the right position, yeah? Not like this, not like this, not like that, not like that. So you have to be very comfortable. I personally recommend the straight line for that. So now you remember this position and you go down to your F sharp. So this is, you play F sharp in very normal, natural way, and then you have to find this chip chain. So now it's here. So how we build the line? Like this. If you go a little bit too high, you will be higher than, than your position which you want to reach. If you, if you stay this in this position, it will be really uncomfortable to some people playing this way. But, I mean, I don't know how they do this. Sometimes they even successful, but I mean to be 100% sure that you will reach this destination is to repair elbow. So let's bring things together in the second phrase. Be careful about the exchange and if you use the open string. A little bit less power because if you will play the same power like in the D string, E string will be much louder. So we have to compensate a little bit less power on the E string. And the elbow preparing. So, first phrase elbow change. Elbow change, second finger, like this, second phrase, very easy, and here elbow like this. Beginning the same, and now you can decide, you do small portamento, or you go immediately for the, to the first finger and play straight line. Now, elbow preparing, and again, preparation. Don't jump like this. Elbow. situation like in the first phrase preparing and go to the D now everything will be different we go in another direction how it works with elbow when we go from the high tune to the low tone the same procedure elbow already prepared for the fourth position because if you will jump directly again your line will be destroyed and 
you will not reach the G. So you see I keep the line. Not only in the right hand, but in the left hand as well. Again, elbow. lesson where we were going to talk about different ways to play vibrato, different colors of vibrato and how to practice vibrato on cello. Stay in tune. This is how to play cello with Kira Kravtsov. Bye.